So, biting back our disappointment, we move on to our special report on the making of Death Becomes Her. This is a black farce starring Meryl Streep, Goldie Hawn and Bruce Willis and directed by Robert Zemeckis, who made the Back to the Future trilogy. An odd combination, if you think about it, of disparate people who range from the supremely talented to the not particularly talented at all. Just as interesting, though, are the special effects, state-of-the-art stuff that involves computer graphics and blue screen process work. Well, you'll see. Robert Zemeckis, a director already well known for films like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which pushed available technology to the limits, was posed an entirely new set of problems for Death Becomes Her. For example, how do you put Meryl Streep's head on back to front? It's me, Ernest Medville! You pushed me down the stairs. And cut! We didn't know we could do it even when I proposed it to what I call my special effects team, uh, I said, now we have this idea of having Meryl with her head on backwards. How are we going to do this? And they, they looked at me and said, well, we don't know. We'll have to go think about it. Um, so we were not, we weren't, you know, sure it was going to work. But that, but that made us very attentive. Bob always has a way of creating uh, visuals that are almost impossible to do. So you have to push the techniques as far as are available and then a little bit beyond that. The way the shots are constructed, for the most part, are shooting her body first. Then we shoot a blue screen head of Meryl, duplicating a lot of the action and lighting changes that are going on. And then that's plotted using computer graphics. We match move her head frame by frame onto the body, which is all twisted around like a corkscrew. And it looks like it's all connected as one horrible, nightmarish piece. What's wrong with me? The key to the Goldie stuff was that they, they I was so concerned that we weren't going to recognize her because we were exaggerating her features so much. But they knew what to keep. They kept her eyes and they kept, you know, all the things that gave, gives her her personality and then just made her 250 pounds heavier. The danger with any film incorporating tricky FX and makeup is that less time is actually spent by the actors in front of the camera. Well, we had a really great makeup effects team. Dick Smith actually, you know, came out of retirement to, um, to help us w with this and his team and the guys he has trained over the years. And they did a great, really great, terrific job. I must tell you, we thought that it was going to be a great shock and a great surprise, but, but I never expected the kind of uproarious laughter that it is uh, instigated. And, 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 I mean, Kurt saw this and I thought he was going to vomit. I, I, he was laughing so hard that, I mean, I was I actually had stopped laughing, I was beginning to worry about him because he was on his feet, uh, he was out of control. How's my hair look? <laughs> Can't have been the film that made Kurt want to vomit, must have been something yet. Anyway, Death Becomes Her opens on December the 4th, but before then I'll be talking to Meryl Streep about the film and other aspects of her career.